Now I know that Kaya's got a big backlog of intros to do, but Char Charlie, since you're the breaking news reporter on what we're going to start with, why don't you go ahead and start? I was actually going to take that home, but I was going to try and make it like a little bit where I'm like on the front lines of California or something, but you've <laughs> taken the wind out of that sail. Fuck. Yeah, so Cal California is about to be eradicated from the United States of America. Uh, the Emancipation Proclamation has been signed by the wildfire. California's gone. It's not coming back. Malibu <laughs> is in shambles. It's left in ash. It's moving through Oakland. It's it's fucking the end of that entire area. Terrifying. Jesus. It's fucking disturbing, man. Especially that footage that gets thrown up now all the time. God. It, what? There's just nothing to do. There's, There's just... no strategies left. Nothing. So what is this? Is this fire just gonna keep raging until like it moves uh, like cross state into whatever <laughs> states next to California? It's like oh. annihilation. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, it also, like, how do you, consume all the impurities. How do you even react to this shit? I understand going outside. Like we get hurricanes in Florida all the time, and you go outside and you're like, "Oh wow, it's raining really, really badly." But how the fuck do you go outside and prepare yourself for everything being on fire? <laughs> Well, b before we continue, uh, I, I wanted to fact check myself because the Emancipation Proclamation didn't seem like the one where it was about the, the North seceding from the South or whatever. It turns out the Emancipation Proclamation was about the ending of slavery, so not applicable yeah. to the wildfire. Wait, you didn't I, actually know that? I couldn't remember no, the what... Fire is, the fire is throwing down its shackles, Charlie. Yeah. It's free now. It's, it's free to... That's why it's a wild its fire. Life. No one can contain it. Okay, Standing it was metaphorical. Up to its masters in Malibu. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> All those I poor souls, those poor millionaires who will now have to move to their other 50 homes. Ugh. I love how the firefighters in the footage still try to fight it. It's like they're spraying a little bit of square inch of it, and there's a whole raging inferno tornado around them. Like, what the fuck do you even do? There's no, there's Imagine no trying training. trying to fight a fire. <laughs> there's absolutely oh, there's no training. training. There, Not there, for is, this. there is absolutely training. Not for this. It's just... The, this wildfire is so large and catastrophic that they've had to bring in new recruits for it. They've <laughs> signed the new Avengers Declaration God. and brought in yeah. the new troops, and I'm, now they don't know. I'm checking the news. The entire city of Malibu, not even just sections of it, the entire city is mandatory evacuation. Mm -hmm. God oh, damn. <laughs> you can stay if you want, I guess. Did oh, you hear man. about the felons they sprung from prison to fight the fire? Wait, 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 what? Are we actually becoming Mad no. Max now? What happened? No, they are actually using prison inmates as firemen now. As, as what, fire blankets? Somebody... To have them lie yeah. down on it? Like... No, as, like, they work as firemen, I guess, for now. And somebody was angry because apparently they're only getting paid $2 per hour. Oh. And somebody was like, oh, you know these inmates are only getting paid $2 per hour to fight those fires. And I'm thinking, like, oh, you mean these felons? You mean these <laughs> yes. rapists and killers? Like, you don't think that's a fair balance? Those are the heroes, Kai. <laughs> I, that's I'm... not what they signed up for when they committed these crimes, though, really? Kai. <laughs> that's not part of the deal. I thought I was going to just sit throws... in a jail cell and rot, not oh. fucking burn my skin off. All of the cops, they rip off their badges. Uh, sorry, the felons, they rip off their felon badges and give up their guns. Like, this is not what I signed up for, damn it. <laughs> I'm going back to my cell. <laughs> Fuck this! I'm burning in dignity. jail. Uh, I like to. I like to imagine that they just send them out there so ill-equipped, like back in the old times, <laughs> where they just give them like a broom. They just like, they just have them jump in a pool and then run into the flames. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get they're doing something good. It, it's noble. I, I mean, I don't know if they volunteered. I don't know if it's yeah, a noble it act. Yeah, but... it's a big difference if it's consensual or if it's not. There's a big Either difference. Either way, they're doing their part, but at the same time, <laughs> they're not gonna... What, what do you want, like 20 bucks an hour for a killer? <laughs> it's just, it's your debt to society. You're still paying it. You're a, I mean, what do you want? You're an inmate. May just... Would you be okay if they got time off their sentences in, oh, in yeah. uh, like, reparation for it? Well, yeah, if they save stuff, of course. I'd rather have that except for the pay if I was in jail. I'd rather much rather yeah. have my sentence reduced. Oh, man. Pay them in bitcoins. Then I'd do anything. I'd, I'd fucking fight any natural disaster. I'd save any <laughs> human. I'd become yeah, the I mean, world's best volunteer by that point. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Death Row, no. Could I just... I might be able to stop this tornado, Your Honor. Could you give me a shot? <laughs> on, on death row, they just move your execution date sooner. Get it over with. 
Oh my god. It, 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 California is doomed. It, it, it's, it's just done. There is nothing else to happen. Uh, I don't know like... how you even stop it. I don't know what you do. Oh my god. Everything's just on uh, fire. Looks like the, I'm looking at the uh, Google google map of the fire and it looks like they've set up a little boundary so that the uh the fire doesn't overlap and take over uh where is it jackson Deer hill park a, a little bit if, if, sorry go ahead no i was just gonna say but if this like if the fire closes in on itself then it's trapped that entire city within itself and it's just surrounded by fire that would be terrifying what you gotta <laughs> here's here's a little perspective it's a little barrier but the blaze has apparently already burned 83,000 acres of land. Yeah. I, I don't think Yikes. many people realize how massive this fire is. How it's much is that in percentage of the whole? Uh, well, California itself is huge, but keep in mind, this is Malibu, where a lot of people live and there's a lot of wealth and industry and buildings. It's not like it's in the middle of the desert or anything. This is an actual... Like city it still center. looks like I'm zooming out. It still looks like a pretty sizable chunk of California it for is, a disaster. It is. Yeah. Oh wait, there's, that's not even the only fire. There's there's little like <laughs> outlying fires up <laughs> north in California, it's, like just little ones starting their own rebellion. It spawns creeps to help take down California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, if you just keep scrolling up, there's just like little ones here and there. Oh yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's like a top lane and mid lane too, but they're just in a stalemate. <laughs> How amazing would it be if this was just some sort of a Doom Eternal marketing ploy? <laughs> <laughs> we started the wildfire by the game. These Blizz zoom into the flames fire. to reveal the logo. Oh no! No! God damn it! Have they have they moved the barriers, or has it gotten worse? I think the fire oh, uh, we we mentioned before we started recording the uh, the Malibu Hindu temple is right at the edge of the barrier and they're probably chanting to keep the flames back. I think the fire <laughs> has gotten closer. Oh, Ooh, it does look closer. Yeah, it's overtaking. It. Their power is dwindling. Please, everyone listening, give give your power to the Malibu Hindu temple. H how is Google Maps getting this information? They started the fire. <laughs> Tay, look out the window. <laughs> yeah. Well, they probably have satellites, and they're taking photos and trajectory. I guess. How quickly did this happen? Because it, I, I'm not finding anything that far back. It seems like two days this happened. I think it's over the last, like, three or four, actually. Because I okay. saw the footage they posted, like, earlier, li later last week. And it is huge, Kaya. It's literally erasing an entire city right now, and its hunger hasn't even been satiated. It's moving <laughs> to another fucking location. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Look wow. at all the parks that have been destroyed, Kaya. Think of all those poor animals. This make me sad. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, those animals are fucked. Well, yeah, <laughs> you feel bad for those, but... I mean, the people at the coast here, the Hollywood stars, eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't need that $50 million mansion. Oh, of course I, I don't not. think that was... <laughs> wasn't, like, integral to the society. But all that wildlife being destroyed and burnt to ash is pretty upsetting. I'm oh surprised my. no one's filming a movie yet at those <clears throat> locations. That's prime mm. location for special uh -oh. effects, except if, except it's real. If you want, if you want that, just check out some of the news footage. You know how they have to like have the reporters stand right next to what's going on, so you'll believe <laughs> that it's bad. Some of the footage they get into the fucking ash dust cloud, and it looks like actual Mad Max as they just walk towards the camera, getting assaulted by debris and shit. It's crazy. Has anyone? Because this is California, the land of the vloggers. Has there been any vlogs from within the flames? Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, Have you guys seen the one question. of the woman who was driving through the flames, praying for her life? No, I haven't seen that. No, no, oh. I haven't seen What's that. What's her YouTube channel, like, Hot Mama 55 No, fuck. You keep talking, I'll see if I can find it. More importantly, Will Smith and Kim Kardashian have been, uh, Instagramming it up. So we, we know that they are safe and vlogging as hot as ever, so thank God for <laughs> thank that. God. Right? Oh, sigh oh. of relief. Little oh, Pump is goodness. vlogging it as well. He's okay, thank God. Will Smith, I'm so glad you're alive. <laughs> yeah, but Jaden okay. died. <laughs> Jaden was last seen swinging, swinging into the blaze on a grappling hook of his own design. <laughs> Just musing on about his particle physics and the sound of light. And yeah, his... If flames aren't real, why am I so cool? 
dumping <laughs> holy water on it as he goes by. His last tweet was, "I've got to fight fire with the only fire," and that was, and it was a picture of himself in a blazer, <laughs> mixtape in hand, <laughs> <laughs> throwing uh, it into the flames. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if I wonder if it did like continue to spread out of control and keep leveling up. If it actually could take control of like the lower hemisphere of the state as well, like the Florida, even though it's mm. like really swampy. I wonder if it could ever get so bad that even like the swampy humidity and rain wouldn't be enough. So you, mm, are you yeah. thinking that the entire no. world would just burn? Well, obviously no, not. It, it, it couldn't cross water yet. I don't think it's invented yeah. that kind of a <laughs> travel. The, the it builds a America. bridge. <laughs> the problem is you're forgetting about uh, you're forgetting about one big issue here, which is uh, this thing called rain. Which I don't. That's what I, don't I just think, said. Yeah, I, I think that there's. It's just gonna rain. There's gonna be a natural barrier at some point. Maybe the fire is evolving. That's why this is such mm. an issue. It's yeah, like, built resistance yeah. to things. It is so fucking unreal. Do they know how it started or not yet? Because I haven't seen anything on like the genesis. Well, they haven't taken the fire into custody yet, so they don't. They haven't <laughs> yeah. conducted an interview. They haven't questioned it, but they have suspects. <laughs> <laughs> Who made you? <laughs> Where's your serial number? Who do you work for? Where are the drugs going? <laughs> how do we stop it i mean it, it probably started the way all the wire fires do you get a bunch of brush and fucking trees and sticks and the sun gets super hot and one of them sparks and then it just keeps going usually I mean, it's it, lightning in uh in these situations but in california yeah. i don't think they've seen a whole lot of lightning so i'm just curious really but but i mean keep in mind everything is fuel i mean if it starts in the wilderness every fucking tree <laughs> so and cynical. branch and leaves <laughs> yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> calm down immortan joe everything <laughs> is fuel keep this in <laughs> mind boys so cool. everything burns <laughs> It's about sending a message. <laughs> that was both somehow really edgy, cringy, yet also cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it wrote I'm, the I'm, fine line. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was I'm impressive. Not, I'm not wrong. Everything you, burns. <laughs> Trust yeah, me. Yeah, especially if your junk is sh chafing. Yeah. Which is why you should get some me on these. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh god, do you guys ever just like shave your balls and then you regret it the moment you have to walk anywhere? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You can't wear boxers where after you shave your junk. It just it felt it, terrible. Itchiness, chafing. But you know what? You can get some meandies in any shape or form you like. And guess what? Three times softer than cotton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fucking soft right there. You're never gonna feel fabric like this again, so now you can go to MeUndies.com slash official and you can get a pair of MeUndies underwear. Our podcast recommends you get them by uh, Tuesday, because every Tuesday they, re they release a new print. What kind of prints would you guys like to see? I ordered classic. I, I want a print that says, this is MeUndies, so everyone knows I have good taste in underwear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want one saying just in giant bold letters, meundies.com slash official. Yeah, mm. it. all the way around Ooh. it, yeah. I want it to be just on my bulge saying on fire. Ooh, that's a good one too. Yeah. That just sounds like you have an STD. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I guess. A little. Why stop at undies though? Meundies is also launching their holiday prints today in lounge pants and onesies you know it's a goddamn bitch to try and find onesies so take this deal believe us we we, we walked around for a week looking for onesies and we didn't find any so thank you me on these for the onesies they're comfortable my book uh you know yeah everything down there just feels good you want something that keeps all the right things in all the right places 15 percent <laughs> off 100 percent satisfaction guarantee obviously free shipping meundies.com slash official god this is there's 16 fires in california how is this possible is there just a madman just driving around lighting fires every, every now and then it's not a bad dr. idea dr robotnik yeah just tossing cigarettes <laughs> out of his window <laughs> I, I think it's just it's so the climate is just so fucking bad right now especially over there that it's just it'd be weird if fires weren't starting left and right in that area it's just, it, it's the only thing that makes sense. It's like the climate is changing or something. Oh, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs>
Well, the fire is getting so large that I think it could form its own third party in the governmental race. This could be your new fucking leader in the 2020 election. Ooh. Only if he calms down. God, we should have... Yeah, he's a little too radical. Jackson and I should have bought tickets. We should have just gone there and like yeah. filmed some sort of a student film avatar mm. adaptation of Fire Lord taking over LA. Oh. Fire Lord Sozin. Yeah, like an official podcast takeover, like a wave of like officiality <laughs> coming through. Just claim credit for this. <laughs> That'll yeah, look I'm great. Sure that, I don't think I want credit. Yeah, yeah. that's what we want. We're I'll the pass. guys that we, we started it. <laughs> yeah. That'll end. <laughs> I'm happy we're just taking down Prima Games. I don't want to take down the whole state of California. Oh, yeah. We oh, did kill Prima Games. What a sad yeah. day. It's, it's not I think fair. It, it, it's kind of like that Simpsons effect. You know how it's like Simpsons did it first. If you correlate mm -hmm. the things we talk about to when they died, there's like a direct correlation that we mention it and it dies very soon after. We didn't mention Stan Lee. Well, we, oh, we, we have <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, did. We, Remember, we, we had a whole episode. We made episode an episode about him. Stan mm -hmm. Lee and the Purple Dick. Yeah, like a year ago. Well, that's a prophecy. That count. It, it's not, <laughs> okay, that's not a prophecy. <laughs> we talked about Elon Musk too extensively. If he dies, that wasn't then, a prophecy. Well then, well look what happened. He's halfway there. He smoked a marijuana. He's tweeting out weeb <laughs> shit. He likes waifus and anime and memes. Oh god. Ugh. He's got one foot in the grave. He's turned into that person who doesn't know when to stop a joke that was funny one time at every party. You know that guy? Mm -hmm. He has one hey. joke that lands. We all laughed at the first one, the first tweet that he liked, which was like an anime cat girl or something. And now he's out there every single day tweeting lollicon weep shit. And it's not funny anymore. Now it's just sad. It is kind of sad, yeah. He became what he hated. He smoked himself into a weeb. That's what marijuana does. <laughs> it's a gateway drug to lolicon. <laughs> to anime. <laughs> I, I used to be a normal man like everyone. I, I had kids. I had a job. I, I was a happy man. And then I smoked some weed. And now I'm a stupid gaijin. And baka. I watch all my animes on Crunchyroll. It's a tragedy. Do you think he makes all these executives watch anime? Mm. I don't he? think he hasn't. He's like Did... outcasted from Tesla. I don't think he has like executives you can just call up anymore. They don't like him. When do you think no, his... he's still on the board? Oh, I right. think. When do you when do you uh when do you think his like quirky celebrity status will die and people just will think he's sad and won't give a shit anymore about what he does? Never. You think so? Really? Never. When is it ever? I feel like there's been people out there where it's like, 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 well, okay, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf was a huge dude in the news for doing quirky, wow. weird celebrity shit. Now no one gives a fuck about him anymore. Yeah, because he has nothing going on. Elon Musk is actually producing some stuff. He, he has fair. cars out there. He's only getting started, if anything. It's Shia fair, yeah, what the fuck did happen to him? Maybe he died in that fire. Maybe this is his <laughs> art project. That was his final protest against Trump. He will not divide us if I burn us yeah. down. <laughs> this fire will not divide California. And then he stood in the middle of it. Good luck getting this fire <laughs> retardant flag in the middle of a burning forest. <laughs> His final challenge to the internet. <laughs> come, come and get it, fuckers. <laughs> he set up a GoPro with a fucking metal housing and recording I buried it. $10 million somewhere in the fire's path. Who's gonna get it first? <laughs> oh, I, I, someone <laughs> should do that just to bait a bunch of YouTube vloggers into their Twitch IRL streamers. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's genius. What else is big in the news besides losing half of America? And losing Stan Lee. Yeah, that's what he just yeah. says. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Toy Story 4 and Pokemon are getting Pokemon movies. Pokemon looks good. Pokemon yeah, looks Pokemon. weird. It looks it's so cute. weird, though. It's, it, it, it's, the, the Pokemon CGI looks really off-putting to me. It, it looks oh, yeah, Uncanny Valley, looks, almost. I don't know, I thought he looked cute. And then, like, it's a Pokemon movie, but it's super dark, and it's a murder mystery pseudo-revenge plot. Well, it's, what if that is a marketing campaign, and he has to solve Stan Lee's murder? That, well, that'd be fine. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know. Isn't that I, different companies? 
kind of, yeah. It's yeah, actually, Marvel. it's direct competitors, now that I think about it, because the Pokemon movie's Warner Brothers. Yeah, but Stanley always does a cameo, so maybe he did Ryan Gosling a solid, not yeah, Ryan Gosling I, the other I guy. Remember, I remember in The Dark Knight, when Bru Brad Bruce Wayne was walking around, and Stan Lee was like, I sure love that Batman in the background. I remember that. Well, yeah, you know, I don't know. Well, the sad part is what people... Someone brought up, and I think this is going to happen, is we're going to have digital actor Stan Lee doing cameos now. So Ooh, you're going to be watching. You're going to be watching Venom Two, and Stan Lee's going to be in the back doing like a silly Fortnite dance or some shit. Yeah, no. Can I make yeah. a prediction? I think sure. they're going to shoehorn a cameo of him into the next Avengers, where all of the Avengers go to a funeral, and it's his funeral, and he's going to be some sort of a higher up in the Shield hierarchy that just passed away. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's a good prediction. That is a very good prediction. It's kind of a hard... It's a hard prediction, though, because Thanos killed half the universe last time. Far yeah, more people gonna have died. they're going to bring everyone back. Well, yeah, of they're course. Obviously gonna of bring, course. They're going to bring yeah. them all back, except for, like, the core actors, because I don't think they're coming back, since Ooh, they didn't even I think they'll die in different ways. All right, wait, yeah. we just... It's we not just, like they'll just get lost in the, in the journey back. We just figured it out. We just figured it out. Thanos, at the end of the movie, is going to bring everyone back, or they're going to find the power to bring everyone back. And, like, Captain America's going to stand there and be like, we did it. We got everyone back. And Sam Jackson's going to put his hand on his shoulder and go, not everybody. And they're going to see oh. that Stan Lee died on his way back on re-entry. And then they hold on the funeral. Re -entry, what, what, what did he do? Yeah, what did he do? Did he get tripped over from, or something? From being snapped back into reality. He couldn't take it. His frail body <laughs> exploded. Are they and landing in Soyuz rockets? <laughs> 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 it went up in flames in the atmosphere. Yeah, Those Chinese made rockets, I tell you. His poor frail body couldn't it couldn't handle transferring back to reality, so he died. And they're gonna have what, a funeral. What if they made it so Stanley's death is the thing that allowed them to get back? He was the true savior <laughs> of the universe. It, like he sacrificed himself on the inside of whatever this this split universe is to let all our heroes back, all our beloved heroes back. Do you think that's a possibility? Probably. I mean, no. I mean, he's, but... filmed, he's filmed all of his cameos. I'm curious yeah. as to what the cameo is in Infinity War 2. I don't think it's going to be anything like, uh, you know, sailing off into the sunset or something as the Avengers watch and play his guitar or anything. I think it's just going to be something subtle. I don't think they're going to redo, like, scenes to try and put it in there. They'll probably just at the end do, like, in loving memory of Stan Lee, like they yeah. do for everything else. Mm -hmm. I still really do think that once his filmed cameos run out, they're going to start doing digital actor cameos. I guarantee I it. Don't. I there'd, there'd be way too much backlash for that. No, I would feel. Well, they'll no, they'll definitely use no, photos. No, they did that. Yeah, no, they did. Yeah, yeah was, they did I, it that's for. What, uh, that's Carrie, what I would assume. They did it for Carrie Fisher, for her. Yeah, for there was her so cameo. much backlash over that. But it was a. Yeah, they still did but it. Wasn't her they role, don't give a shit. Wasn't she more essential to the movies than? Yeah. What no, 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 for, uh, for uh, what was plays. the what was the piece of shit, useless garbage Star Wars film that everyone already forgot about? The oh. one that doesn't Rogue even Rogue, Rogue, Rogue One. Remember at the very oh. end of Rogue One, she just goes hope and she shows up and that's it for like half a scene, and she's a digital actress. Yeah, yeah. But it was to tie it was to tie in Rogue One to the first the first movie, A New Hope. But they, they why, didn't have that's to. That's what that's the purpose of that scene. I guess, but they, they they didn't even need that scene. It didn't really add anything. Well, they, they yeah. Well, they didn't need it, but it was still tied into the story more so than any of Stan Lee's cameos. So Stan Lee's cameos are an omnipotent part of the Marvel universe. He has to tie the whole universe together. Stan Lee is the only reality that grounds all the movies together. See, but what do they achieve by putting a ghost of Stan Lee in, like a recreation, a three D recreation AI, smart AI of Stan Lee, when they can just put like a subtle nod to him, like a photo? Jackson, or something you know like that. exactly. Like a, you know like, fucking exactly what they accomplished. They get all the fanboys in the movie theater, and it's opening day, and they're watching the movie, and and they're at a bar, and Deadpool starts dabbing, and Stan Lee goes, "I can dab too, Deadpool," and then he dabs, and all the fans go, "Whoa, dude! I thought he died, but they put him in, and he dabbed. That was fucking sick." They they're just gonna find new ways to fan service him with it. They get more control. Yeah, but they can still accomplish that feeling by just putting a, like a photo in a frame of him on a wall in some back shot. But he always has you know a line. I mean? He can't say a line if he's just a photo. Even in even in the fucking Spider-Man game, it was completely shoehorned where they're at the diner and he goes, You two were always a cute couple. It's like it added fucking nothing, but he had to say it because he's Stan Lee. 
They're going to do that with I like him. his cameos. Well, they might change up the formula a little, considering he died. I mean, they, <laughs> you're I doubt this his is, corpse is bound by contracts. You're forgetting this is Disney. They don't give a flying fuck. Weakened it, Bernie yeah. style. They just yeah. hang him up like a puppet. Yeah. There's a bunch of strings in the movie piloting around the set. <laughs> he goes, I have to go. My car is here. And he just like picks up like a marionette and bounces out of the scene. <laughs> His limbs flying everywhere. His sunglasses fall off of his face. <laughs> Rest in peace, Stanley. Yeah, a true visionary. Yeah. Speaking of true visionaries, I, I want to tell you guys about a company that I think has probably the best view of the future of doorbells that I have ever seen. Can I, can I, can I tell you guys about this? It's Ring. Ring's mission is to make neighborhoods safer. Now, you might already know about their smart video doorbells and cameras that protect millions of people everywhere. And if you don't know, well, hey, I just told you about it. So if you want to be able to look through your doorbell with HD video and two-way audio features through your smartphone, add some privacy, some safety to your life, you can go to ring.com slash official and get a special offer on their starter kit, which is available right now there's a video doorbell motion activated floodlight cam in the starter kit and it's got everything that you need to build a ring of security around your home go to ring.com official to take advantage of the offer on this starter kit charlie i went to your house today and i pushed your ring doorbell and did you happen to know i was there before you even let me in yes and that is the power of ring ring.com official uh, so yeah, we can, let's kind of stay on the same topic, but go to the other half of it, the Pokemon movie. I'm, I'm skeptical. It, it, it looks cool, and I love that there's a live-action Pokemon movie that's, you know, like you see the Pokemon and they're in the world and this and that, but it's, it's weirdly dark, and the CGI looks weird, and, and Ryan Reynolds. What do you Reynolds, mean dark? I, so the whole tone it, of the movie what, is, like, dark. It's really harsh, dark colors, and it's like an, not an adult movie, but kind of a, more mature take on it and it just feels weird that it's pokemon that's doing this which is notoriously a very like kid bright sunshiny vibrant, vibrant yeah. franchise oh, it's just gloomy it's a detective movie i i'm fine i'm fine with it i'm not i'm not trying to judge the movie by the trailer i'm really not because like it, it's got ryan reynolds and a few other big names it's warner brothers it's got a big budget and this and that it could still be good it is perfectly fine but at the same time remember dragon ball evolution which was like, oh, it's a live-action Dragon Ball movie, and we have all the characters and the settings and CGI, and then, and then look what happened. It was happened. all bright and shit, was it not? I don't think anyone thought it looked good from the trailers. I think the Pikachu yeah. detective looks good from the trailers. Yeah, literally no one at any point thought Dragon Ball Evolution had the chance of being remotely acceptable. Do you guys it's remember fair. if the Avatar live-action movie you. was Oh, there received. you go. That's a <laughs> good one. How good were the trailers for Avatar? Bad. Well, they were they also, weren't yeah, good. They were really bad. Yeah, they were yeah, all the bad. Yeah, in the trailers, they were still calling him Ong. Yeah. Oh my god. God, don't remind me. All right. Nothing right. was a surprise. Right. Let me let me better voice my feelings then. I don't think it's bad, and I'm not upset. I just think it's kind of jarring at first. You know, it's like it's not what I expected for a Pokemon movie. You know what I mean? That's all. That's all I'm saying. Could be great. Could Ong, be fantastic. Fucking Ong. I hope, M. Night, I hope you lost <laughs> 10 houses personally in that fight. You can't. <laughs> Ong. Well, I bet he wishes he was a well, fire wait, didn't, didn't Shyamalan redeem himself to you? Weren't you just saying how much you loved his new movies? What new movies? The he made split. split. Oh, you're talking split. about. No, I said Split was okay. I didn't say oh, he redeemed you really, himself. He's really irredeemable. No. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I thought you really yourself. liked Split. <laughs> Split. I really like Split. That yeah, was good. I still no, need Split to see is it. fine. It's just, I uh, the guys who make Avatar show them too have sold out hardcore. Brian Konietzko and the the other fucker. They're now partnering with Netflix to make a new live action <laughs> yeah. adaptation that literally not a single person on earth has asked for. But what really pissed me off was they went on to an interview and said, you know what, this time we're taking the reins and it's gonna be so much better because this time the cast is not gonna be whitewashed. Oh, you yeah, cunt. Were they Yeah, because that was the only problem with the other movie. Yeah, because the, yes, we were all pissed off that you cast pasty white children in the roles of like Fire Lords and such, but... That was far from the only problem. 
How come you're not mentioning the shitty camera work, the shitty CGI, the shitty writing, the shitty acting, everything that is wrong with it, the fact that you changed the whole story? How come you're not mentioning that? How come it's just this virtue signaling bullshit about skin color again? Fuck you. God, they bastardized this I think you'll find so that hard. all of those issues stem from the white... Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if, it was, yeah. Uh, if it was a more diverse cast, suddenly the script would have gotten better. The acting uh, yeah, would have been it, incredible. Then I would have been like, okay, you know, they changed the this whole story. Firebenders can no longer conjure fire, but at least Iroh is black now. Uh. <laughs> Very true to the show. Sweet. <laughs> God, such a shit show. You, you reminded me, though, uh, I made a comparison with the new Castlevania to The Last Airbender because I think Castlevania is on the same level as Last Airbender in terms of animation. Have you seen the Castlevania series yet, Kaya? No, I tried watching the first one. I just couldn't get into it. I watched like two, mm. one half, like half of an episode, I'll be fair. I was going <laughs> to okay. give it a shot. I was going to give it another shot because I, I follow the guy who does the rough animation sketches mm -hmm. on Twitter and it looks great. His work it's does. fucking phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I'll check it out then. Let's wait until they take that and turn it into a life action. Yeah, well, I'm excited With for Vin that. With Vin Diesel as the bad guy or something. Ugh. As Dracula, yeah. <laughs> Have they done a live action recreation of a anime well yet? Can you think of any? They've. Ne I don't think they've ever taken like a cartoon or even video game medium and done it really well yet. There's been like some Neither. okay ones though for yeah, movies, like a, maybe. Yeah, for movies. Yeah. What about uh? What about Rampage? That's that's the example I was going to yeah. give. Like I said, there've been some okay ones for sure. I I still so think that's uh, easy because Rampage has very little like depth to it to begin but with. They, so they, they can still, really do whatever with it. They still did a really good job in portraying it though. I mean, they could have easily fucked it up and made. I mean, like, look at Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh. I mean, there's not a lot. There's not a lot that you really need. There's a princess. There's a, a oh. hero and a, a dragon that captures her, and that's it. There's your story. But then he's like, "We gotta get the fungus. We gotta drive our rocket cars, yeah. Luigi." Like, what the but, fuck? But they are you also thinking? had these realistic, scaly porn dinos yeah. walking around. It was you just really a, morbid. Uh, and a bill, and a fucking, you had a fucking CEO who had a ray gun that turned people into monkeys. I remember this yeah. movie. The fuck, this sounds awesome, dude. I, I remember this it movie. For, so a lot, of, I make this argument about it, and I, I think a lot of people on the internet agree. It's a, it's a good movie for like a weird '90s comedy. It's just not a good Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> it has nothing in common with Mario exactly. Brothers other than the colors. Exactly. Yeah. The color the of Mario Mario, 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 Mario life action now though. Oh, no, no they, wait, yeah. it's not life. No, action, it's it's it? uh it's the studio that made Minions. It's 3D animated. Oh, gr oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what's yeah. that studio called? Sony Animation. No, I'd rather something. have life action with Danny DeVito playing so. Mario. Well, no, I mean, you, they may make the Minions, but they've done some really impressive animated films. They did a uh, Mastermind or Mega Mind, whatever that yeah, was. They Mega did. Mind um, was great. Yeah, but fuck! I just looked at this the other day. They also made That's the it. minions, That's though. That's it. Yeah. They wait. They never made Illumination. Never made uh, whatever you just said. They made mm. Despicable Me. Oh. Yeah, but they made Mega Mind no, before they didn't. that. No, they didn't. didn't I'm they? looking at their. I'm looking at their films right now. They did not. Who, who well, the, the fuck Spicable... made Mega Mind? I first, think just Disney did. The first Despicable Me was okay. I'm they not made give that so shit, but Illumination made Despicable Me franchise the minions. The Lorax, Hop, which I've they've, never even heard they, of. They have never made a good movie. Sing, well, they've made uh, the Secret Life movies of that make a lot of money. Oh, they make dick loads of money. Their budgets are less than a hundred million, and almost every one of the movies makes a billion dollars. But yeah, yeah, oh, not they, to mention but they haven't made like a good movie. Hmm. They, I they, mean, they I really, thought eh, Despicable you know, Me was okay. The first, the the uh, the Grinch Average. is the Grinch is is that out or is that coming out? That's oh, that's oh. that just released. I know who they need for okay. the Grinch, George Miller. What the the maker of Mad Max? Yeah, like what? Mad Why Max, would he the, need Grinch. the Grinch. 
<laughs> Why would he do the Grinch? That just <laughs> actually, I'm kind of interested in seeing that movie now. Yeah, you, I can see that. A Gritty. fucked up dystopian Doctor Seuss movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be fucking sweet. Be careful, those who danglers will run tumble your skunkle tongues. Dude, imagine Mad Max, <laughs> but except instead of a desert, it's a snowscape and it's Christmas yeah. themed. I thought it, I, I think that would be awesome. <laughs> well, then no one's gonna be. And Morton upset. Joe is Santa. Santa Joe. All right, he has a sled good. instead of a double decker car. You've Come sold on. me. Fine, I'm fine with this. Instead of I reindeer, a, he has like I rhinos. Thought, I thought you were a fucking idiot, but now I'm totally on board. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! But if I was Charlie, a billionaire, did you find, did I'd you just find hire... out who made uh, Megan Mind? It's it's DreamWorks. Uh, yeah. DreamWorks oh, uh, the Shrek Fused. people, right? Okay. <laughs> the Shrek Are people. they making a Shrek 6 or whatever the fuck they're on now? Probably. Yeah, a reboot, I think. Shrek Redemption. Ooh! A new, a new Austin Powers got announced. What? I'm super excited really? for that. Really? Yeah. Wow. Didn't Mike uh -huh. Myers fall off the face of the earth, though? Like, who's in it? He's been holding well, out for this role. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he made that really bad movie that kind of ended his career the temporarily. I believe it was called Love Guru. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. And, that, and that's where he fell off. And now he's back. Back in Did the hot seat. Uh, wow. Daniel Craig crediting the those movies for why James Bond had to become more serious? No, what 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 happened? Well, Myers movies, um, why am I blanking on that name now? Austin Powers. Yeah, Austin, Austin Powers. Powers. The movies were so over the top that James Bond couldn't just be as silly as it used to be. See, they had to become more serious to distance themselves from the silly spy movie genre. That's what Daniel Ooh. Craig said. So I guess that's why we no longer have like space lasers melting ice caps. Yeah, that's why we don't that's have. A lame uh, excuse. That's why we don't have fun James Bond movies, and all Bond movies now are just like everyone's sitting around and talking and waiting for someone to hack a computer. Being moody. <laughs> yeah, being moody and going, "Oh, I hate you," and then the next scene they jump cut to him fucking, like every time. <laughs> Every, on, on the every, train. every single yeah. fucking Bond movie with the girl now, every time he meets the girl, it's always, he si he walks up to her, he sits down, he does like a Bond thing like I'll have a martini, or, oh, do you like my watch? It shoots lasers. And then she's all like, James, you're a horrible man. And he's like, I know, and what you're you a bad now? lady. And then it, <laughs> and then it smash cuts to him fucking her every single time. That's how it works. That's James Bond. That's nothing new. Yeah, but it didn't used to be this whole drab like, oh, you're so I garbage. Think of course it he used was. to like charm. No, he mm. used to like charm them on screen and like. Yeah, he used to charm them. Yeah, he used to be he's, fun. He still charms them. Yeah, but you smash really. cut to him banging them. You don't get to see the charm. You just have to assume. I, I think what they really need is they need a more relatable James Bond, like a fedora wearing neckbeard <laughs> Bond who like overcomes all the odds. Like a three hundred pound man who just has trouble yeah. keeping up oh, with yeah. everything. The nice guy. Oh, we, we need Herbert. <laughs> get, get our best agent on the case. Where's the nice guy? Yeah. Ooh, that could even be the name of one of the movies. The nice guy. James I, Bond. I, I, I can't wait for this. Guy. I can't wait for the, for the fucking James Bond movie where he's on the train and she's all like, you're a terrible man, James. And he's like, I know. But then when it's supposed to smash cut to him fucking, she's like, I only go for nice guys. Like Herbert over there. And it just points yeah, and then to Herbert that winks at the winks at the camera and then pulls out his DS. He's like... <laughs> He's cut all all the Pokemon. How I many know that do you have, villain James? is rich and handsome and charismatic, but you know I wouldn't treat you like shit. You know, whatever though. If you, if you don't want to suck my dick, I guess you're a whore. <laughs> Fuck you. You know this is why Trump won. I'm leaving. <laughs> then, <laughs> and then he he's like, I'm just kidding. And then he nails like this perfect headshot and then walks away. <laughs> he he no scope throws a playing card at her head. <laughs> 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 Call me if you change your mind. Oh my god. Are you taking notes, James Bond Studio? We finally found the key. It's a fucking gnarly Fortnite dance on his way out. <laughs> this is an epic victory royale, bitch. Oh boy. He, go he goes back to headquarters to get his tendies from, from M. <laughs> Yeah, the whole drive home, he's just screaming like a fucking feral child oh, no, you in mean, the car. You mean <laughs> slamming his hand on the steering wheel. You mean Q. M, M is Mallory, M is his yeah. boss. Q is the one supplying him with high-tech junk food. <laughs> I, I like... 
<laughs> Q goes uh he goes back to Q and he like takes the telephone booth underneath the the fucking garage or whatever. And he's like, "What do you got?" And he like shows him the latest Razer gaming computer. <laughs> Modified fedoras. This is the latest Doritos. It has gamer flavor. He goes. He goes. Hang on. This will. This will show you something wild. He puts on a carpal tunnel brace. Now I can go all night, baby. He's got his fucking VR headset on. He's seeing the future. You've outdone yourself, this, Q. This special cream will protect your neck beard from sweat. <laughs> James walks around the lab like, what is this, a new special kind of Kevlar? No, it's a mouse pad. Makes your mouse faster. <laughs> you know, I... The real James Bond is visiting the daycare where this one's at. Where are your, where are your guns at? I'll show you. I'll log into my account. <laughs> like, like, I've got all the greatest just trade Bond, them I into think my this account. Might be your, I think this might be your greatest invention yet, Bond. Dorito-resistant mouse. <clears throat> no dust no for dust, a mile. No grease. <laughs> we'll never gunk up. Uh, God, so many good movie ideas today. Too bad half of LA is <laughs> burning bang. down, so no one's gonna hear this. <laughs> yeah, we'll never get a movie out of this, right? The executives just can't afford it anymore. The locations are gone. God, if if you're listening out there, movie execs, give us a studio. Give us like a script to work with here. We're fucking. No, give us a budget. All the people in a fat All budget. the people yeah. you Every, allocated your budget for just died in a fire anyway. You might as well get some new talent. Every movie. I, I've been more interested in every stupid idea for a movie we've just listed here than I think any movie in the last like four months. Like, this is sad. Because we have the we have the only good ideas left in the industry. Those are fun. <laughs> I'm going to quickly copyright James Bond's The Nice Guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's time we reinvent the toxic white male protagonist. We have to change his name. He can't be James Bond still. <laughs> what was the guy's name who lived in his mom's basement and got evicted? Ooh. Ah. Yeah, that's, that guy sounded like a... He had like a hero's name. He was like Rory McMahon or something. Oh, call God it a... It. It started I with an R. Don't call it... Every time. Don't call it nice guy. Every James Bond title is like at the end of the world or where where fate meets fortune, like stuff like that. Call it James Bond entering the friend zone. Something Michael like Rotondo. that. Michael Rotondo. Yeah, Michael Rotondo. Mike Rotondo. Mike Mike Ooh. Rotondo. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a, like a code name secret spy, like um, XX007. <laughs> yeah, the nice guy. Movie two, the nicer guy. Nice again tomorrow. <laughs> Movie three, let's just be friends. <laughs> <laughs> just friends. No, you have to go just friends. Yeah, <laughs> just friends. The shorter, the better. <laughs> it just progressively gets more desperate. Movie four, please stop calling. <laughs> <laughs> Call Mo me again. Movie five, so what's your boyfriend like? Is he nice? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Rotondo like is not a phase. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that, uh, you know, being a spy is hard work. You don't want people discovering your secret identity. But what you might want to discover about yourself is your ancestry and where you come from and what you're like. And that's why you can use the service 23 and me. 23andMe Ancestry Service allows you to see how your DNA breaks out across 150 plus regions worldwide, trace parts of your ancestry to a specific group of individuals from over a thousand years ago, discover how much Neanderthal DNA you've inherited, and opt in and connect with DNA relatives and find other customers who share your DNA and ancestry. Jackson, I believe that I have a, I have a quiz for you you might find interesting here. I have my 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 people's ancestry here my my large group summation of my body what small island nations do you think 35 percent of my dna comes from small island nation mm -hmm. i'm going to go with cuba no not not even remotely close jackson i thought you would know this because you were you were a prisoner of them once back when australia was a newborn baby uh the united kingdom and ireland Apparently, oh, wow. you're from there. Yeah, apparently, thirty-five percent of my DNA comes from there, thanks to uh, huh. twenty-three and Me's analysis. Yeah. I, well, what about the other sixty-four, five? The other percentages are there's there's smaller percents, but Italy, 
Eastern Europe, France, mm. Germany, Iberia, and the Balkan Islands. You too out there can play the fun game of Guess Where I Came From and other great tools on the 23andMe website to help track your ancestry, such as the DNA, Family and Relative Finder, and the Ancestry Composition Report, which is what I was just looking at right now to play that fun little fun little uh, tidbit. Now through Thanksgiving, 23andMe Ancestry Service Kits are only $49 per kit if you buy two or more. So hey, Christmas is coming up. Get a nice little family outing. Find out where you came from. That's 50% off the regular price of $99 just for the holidays. Order your 23andMe Ancestry kit at 23andMe.com slash official. That's the number 23andMe.com slash official. Please pay George Miller, L.A. <laughs> you can't get over this. I can't. It's such I can't a good either. movie. I know he didn't deserve it at all. Fucking, oh, fucking when that was that was the height of the action movie slump, where everything coming out was just borderline garbage that no one was seeing. And then Fury Road, this bastion of light comes out, makes a dick load of money, gets a shitload of praise, and then they don't even pay him for it. Like what the hell? I honestly, I you know me, even though we have the corner of things we like and such, I don't easily vouch for things. But do yourself a favor and watch Fury Road. It's almost That's mandatory. Really, I did my, I did my like fiftieth viewing of it recently again. Ceremoniously, week. yeah. Ceremoniously, I watched the Black and Chrome edition. It's just, it's good in any way, shape, or form. It's such a good movie. That's a, uh, that's an interesting topic. What's something you guys like have as like a tradition? Like, oh, every year I watch this movie, or every year I play this game, or this and that. Do the you guys have that? Uh, I used to when I was younger. Every year I'd watch Christmas Vacation with my parents, but we don't really watch oh, it every yeah. year anymore. That's a good movie, though. I used to do that, too. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I, uh, um, I, go ahead. I play multiple, like, nostalgic games each year on, like, a rotation, like Spyro so and I. Abe's Odyssey. And um, I've also... It's only been a, a tradition for four years, but I, I watch La La Land at least once a year. Really? La La movie. Land? Yeah, yeah it's really. So cute. Why that one? That's an interesting. It's a cute movie. It's an interesting Why not choice. Whiplash? <laughs> oh, Whiplash. Yeah. Well, that's that's also a good choice. But yeah. I just like the music and the the romance in La La Land. It's Aww, cute. What a Aww. softie. You really? Yeah. What a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit softie. I can't we wait to a see. Candidate for Mike Rotondo. You're gonna yeah. You're the star <laughs> in the new James Bond. <laughs> hey, if Emma Stone's there, I'm there. <laughs> we will not have the budget for Emma Stone. You'll be. You'll be getting Helga working down the street or something. <laughs> well, I'm still there. That's how nice I am. Helga with the uni brow. I believe in the script. And the locket with Arnold's photo in it. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> how about you, Kaya? Do you have any others besides Fury Road? Um. Yeah, I mean, every year I re-watch, like, the three best TV shows that I know generally. Like, House, Breaking Bad. Mostly out oh, of House would be such a massive watch, though. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Jesus, wow! Re watching it, all of House each year that would yeah, be such a you, massive undertaking. Uh, you can put it on the side, though. It's not a plot yeah. point driven show like Breaking Bad. You don't have mm -hmm. to pay hundred percent attention to every scene to know what's going on, because it's segmented. Like almost every episode is its own little story for the most part, with little tidbits it's overarching into the next episode. I just I like having it on the on the side. It's a good show. Like every two mm -hmm. or three years, I will rewatch Monk because that's still one of my Ooh. favorites, and it's so old. I don't I don't even know if they have it in HD at this point. Yeah, I doubt it. I still have it on DVD. So yeah, I I, I don't think they've updated it. I, I know it's Amazon Monk. on Amazon. Monk's a great show. Monk was fun. It's it is a, such a cute show. God it's damn. a fun. Do you, I I always loved when they were new and fresh the uh the the USA detective trilogy, where it was uh, Monk, Psych, and Burn Notice, and they would always play them back just, to back. I loved all three the, of those shows. The thing about Monk that I like is that it doesn't do the I'm I'm the smart autistic douchebag trope, which has become <laughs> such a cliche with. House, Sheldon. Doctor Who, mm -hmm. Sheldon, Sherlock, and it's all the same variation of the same character. It's this 
Oh, I'm too smart for social conventions. Yeah, I'm not gonna shake your hand and I'm gonna say rude things, but you need me because I'm smart and I can solve all the problems. It's more, uh, just, like, it's more just like making the audience laugh. Just like at the base of it, it's laughing at someone that's different. Every, like that's all it is. Every single one of those shows, the very first episode has a scene where the, one of the main characters and one of the side characters are talking about them. And he's like, yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but once you get yeah. used to him, he's brilliant and they always have that fucking scene every time exactly it's yeah it's the i know he he's he has asperger's yeah i know he can't even look you in the eyes he's that rude but you know he's the only one who can solve this mystery exactly but that, that wasn't the case with monk because monk is he's not a douche he's just a super wholesome also socially awkward but charlie do you know monk no i don't i know bulletproof monk Monk is like if Winnie Pooh and Paddington Bear had a baby who was a genius detective. With OCD. With OCD. Mm, yeah, really severe and also OCD. A tragic OCD past. because, yeah, he, he his wife died. Yeah. It, it's a sad, wholesome story. And he's such Monk's a, a fantastic show. I, I, I also that read is... Monk. I watched a lot of it. Kaya, do you have a favorite episode? Because I remember one that I lost my shit at how good I thought it was. Ah, uh, pr- not at the top of my head. I mean, I all I cry like a little bitch at the series <laughs> finale. The last two episodes, oh, I cry so like a little baby. Just God, you, you've been oh really tanking your masculine facade. Like you really? talked about the like the wholesome meeting me episode, and no. now you're poking holes in your masculine armor again with crying during a show you rewatch every year. Oh no, I mean, just I can't not cry. There's, it's so. You have to understand this is Winnie Pooh, basically. <laughs> if he was I a love detective, and. Yeah. He lost his wife, and he finally finds the guy who killed his wife. And <laughs> just how do you not cry? There's it's... nothing wrong with crying over a sweet moment, Kai. Don't feel ashamed. I don't know why Kai, uh, Charlie's trying to make you feel this way. No, if I you mean, cry I'm... during a movie, you're a big fucking softy, <laughs> and you're coming into the new Jan- uh, Mike Rotondo, the sensitive man. Fine, I'm a fucking softy too because I did that a couple weeks yeah. ago. With what? What What'd the fuck? Crazy? Swiss no, Army on, Man. I'm... Have I talked about that on the podcast? Smash Direct? Swiss Army Man. Swiss Army. Have I talked uh, about that's that? That's a fucking great that movie. movie. I love that, that movie. movie got me good, man. That movie is so fucking good. You're skipping several steps. I want to hear what Andrew's favorite monk episode is. Oh, the one the one where he's on the game show? And they and no one, Aww, not even Monk, can yeah. figure out how they're solving the questions. And then eventually, like, he figures it out where they he, he holds up the cards certain ways. Mm. I remember as a kid, I was like, that's fucking brilliant. Because I, I thought yeah. that, like, that shit would happen in real life. <laughs> God, it's just so adorable. So many episodes where everybody is against him and everybody is like, oh, Monk, that's just Monk. He's a retarded. Just whatever. Don't pay attention to him. Even though, <laughs> that, wasn't even that the though tagline of the show? He's just retarded. <laughs> Basically, everybody, it's just like, you're seven seasons in and everybody is still incredulous. Like, oh, that's just Monk. We don't have to listen to him. He's just a little loopy, even though he solved, like, what, 500 murders? <laughs> He's off his rockers again. There you go. There's Monk doing his thing. <laughs> Come on. Of course uh, I cry. The yeah. poor bastard. But, uh, so Swiss Army Man for you, oh, Andrew, yeah, made dude. you less of a man? I, I think I mentioned to you personally <laughs> when we were hanging out. Swiss, Swiss Army Man is an indie movie. It's got Daniel Radcliffe and, it's great. and Paul Dano. And I, I don't want to spoil it. I want to I recommend it to anyone out there who likes watching lower budget kind of indie movies. But uh, uh, creative, yes, very creative movie. A man's on a beach and he's stranded on stranded on an island all alone, and he's literally about to kill himself. Like he's fashioned a noose out of some branches and shit, and he's about to hang himself when the corpse of Daniel Radcliffe washes up on the beach. And uh, I'm not going to spoil anything else, but him finding that corpse just just changes a lot of things. And it is a movie with some of the most witty and and great criticism of society dialogue I've ever heard. And, and towards the end, I, I just, I just, the tears, man, they, it was real hard to keep them back. I was just so, so is fucking because, invested. Is it because you saw yourself in the, in the corpse of Daniel Craig? Well, what, what? Not Daniel Craig, w- Jesus, Daniel Radcliffe. Well, no, what, what really got me going, there's a scene, there's a scene where they're on a boat. Like Rotondo yeah. killed him. Yeah, no, I was, <laughs> he killed <laughs> He was the handsome boyfriend. Yeah. He, he killed Harry Potter and I vowed revenge. Um, no, there's there's a scene that got it started where they're on a bus, and I, I don't want to say anything about it, but they're on a bus. Oh, don't yeah. spoil and, it. Uh, I want to watch it now. It's, the, the way that they shoot that scene where they're on the bus, 
is just so beautiful and so incredibly inventive and creative. I've never seen shots and set set designs in a movie like that before. And the way what Daniel Radcliffe says, he kind of has a small monologue during that scene. It's just oh my god, it it hits you. And then for the rest of the movie, I just got hyper invested. And then when the credits started rolling, I my mouth was open. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna fucking cry at this stupid indie movie. I'm not gonna fucking do it. But it was. Yeah, I highly, highly. If if you have Amazon Prime, it's one of the free movies that comes with Prime through Amazon Video. Highly, highly recommend you watch it. It's not even that long. It's fantastic. I also throw in my recommendation for that. I'm so glad you've seen it, Jackson. I, I love. I didn't cry. I didn't cry during because I'm not a giant pussy like you, Andrew. <laughs> it's such a good movie. But it was. Yeah, oh. it's a really good movie. What we should really do oh, is next know. time we're. Next time we're all in person, we should all watch the movies we've cr- the other people have cried in, like the other ones have yeah. cried in. And then, and then at the end, everyone just makes fun mm. of each other. Wow, you pussy, <laughs> yeah. you fucking loser! Everyone's well, gonna be like super guarded. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna cry in front of you guys. But I can't think of a movie I've cried in, unless mm. you want to sit there and watch eight seasons of Monk. <laughs> <laughs> the payoff at the end will be worth it. Just grabbing Charlie, like, dude, dude, hang on, I'm about to cry. Just 78 more episodes, <laughs> guys. Only, only, only 89 more hours till the waterworks start flowing. Let's hang on. I actually would like and to. When the time comes around, it just doesn't happen. I just wasn't feeling it this time. <laughs> I've seen it too many times. I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm jaded. I'd really like to see the movie. I've only cried during one movie. And I'd really like to watch it again to see if it actually is the that baseball sad. movie. It's not. It's football. It's radio with Cuba Gooding Jr. I don't Apparently, it's that like one. a really shitty movie too. Like it has bad reviews for the most part. But uh, I I remember crying real hard during that. Wow. It's the only one. Was it because it was an emotional movie, oh. or because something else was going on in your OCD ridden life? Like you couldn't oh, jerk I, I off at the correct time that night. Well, I was much younger at this movie. I wasn't jerking my wiener off yet so i didn't really have those stresses it's just it's a sad movie it's a really sad movie i remember another one that got me have you guys seen alive Mm -mm, i I just remembered this i i forgot about it the last times we talked about this alive is a movie based on a true story about the uh argentinian soccer team where i think it was argentina where their plane went down in the alps or the andes no the andes jesus i keep mixing up details and they were forced to eat each other to survive like eat all the they survived the plane crash yeah yeah Mm -hmm. half was it like it was a private plane plane? for the it was a private plane for the team it wasn't like a jet it was a okay but it was a it was a big plane and uh they survived the people that survived survived by eating the corpses of the teammates that died and uh Mm -hmm. there's a scene in alive it's not even the end but there's this one guy whose legs are just completely fucking shattered and broken in the plane crash. So the whole movie, he just spends in like this makeshift hammock in the back of the plane. And uh, he's like really fucked up and he's getting infected on all this stuff and he's just suffering. And there's another guy next to him who I think gets sick. So he stays in the plane with him as well. And one of them dies and they all sleep in the plane for warmth, like the hollowed out shell of the plane. And when one of them dies, the other guy wakes up and he's like, he's like kind of really upset and he holds his corpse and he just, as everyone's waking up, he's like, can I have your attention, please? This is Andre Ronaldo. He was 23 years old. And he just like gives this fucking on the spot eulogy about everything he learned about them through the movie. And it's really heart wrenching scene that, that, that really, I remember that got to me when I saw it. And then they eat him. I guess, yeah. <laughs> this is what the Thanksgiving this is speech. Ronaldo. He goes great with. Goes great with barbecue. He's low calorie. <laughs> Alive's a hard movie to watch. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, it's an old movie. I just looked it up. Yeah, it's yeah. a true story though. It actually happened. And then the Uruguay the fu- rugby team. Thank you, not Uruguay. Argentina soccer team. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. Same shit. The thing I remember was fucked up about it though. In the real story, after they got back, like after they got rescued, they were fucking ostracized by Uruguay for eating the corpses. Like, people, people <laughs> shit on them and threw the stuff on them and shit. It's like, that's fucked up. They did what they had to do. Come on. What a downer episode. I'd eat them, too. At that point, I'd just commit to the role. I'd be the, the yeah. vampire of Uruguay. I have a taste for flesh. I need more. Just start biting Suck people in the crowd. I wouldn't apologize. Like, oh, yeah, I survived. What a crime, you fucking cunt. Come here, I'll eat you, too, asshole. <laughs> how about you survive a plane crash? How, how about we try that, you asshole? God. I also hate that mentality yeah, when I it's about too. survival. I think all gloves come off whatever you've got to do. Mm-hmm. 
everything's permitted in a situation like that. Well, there's Unless limits, I think. Well, yeah. yeah. Unless it's like lolly porn or something. If you found yourself in like <laughs> really like a curious situation where oh, that's oh, your only way out. I need to out. fuck a kid to survive. <laughs> yeah, that was J <laughs> that was Jared from Subway's argument. I, I was gonna say I wouldn't like if I was stranded in the wilderness. I wouldn't club a little baby to death to eat its butt. Everything else, like nibbling on a corpse. Yeah, you know, yeah. I dead. think that's fine. I think that's he's totally not gonna fine. need that leg. Yeah, he doesn't need the nutrients yeah. anymore. It's just going to waste. No. Yeah, exactly. They're fucking dead. That's all there is to it. I mean, if they, if they were alive, I think it'd be a different conundrum then. Mm -hmm. Even then, you have to look at it from the, you know, pragmatic perspective of, do you, you know, you poke a little pen into his leg and go, like, do you feel this? No? I mean... Jim, you have no use of your legs, you know? This is a far better use of your legs if we eat them. <laughs> Don't you think? This is just gonna get infected and kill you anyway, man. <laughs> with, Donate. With an, argument like, with an argument like that, Kaya, and then he just starts sawing his leg yeah. off. <laughs> Why didn't we do this sooner? Oh my god. This delicious. I'll get, the, I'll get the saw, Kaya. <laughs> now, that you've, now that you've given it to me in a pragmatic sense, I'm all on board. I didn't think about it that way. Do you want a medium or a medium rare? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how tender of my leg do you want here? Because there's different levels of gangrene. We can just... Would you, would you like a fatter cut or a leaner cut of my leg? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm just saying, like, you've been lying in this hammock for a week now. You haven't moved a toe in a week, so... <laughs> Kai just spent the entire week just watching him. Yeah, just, 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 just wide-eyed licking his lips, just, mm, yeah, you're really you're not <laughs> moving around that much there. Mm. Feeding You're writing him. in his diary. <laughs> Feeding him, fattening him, fattening him up. <laughs> Here, eat these... Tenderizing and just rubbing his legs. <laughs> Here, eat these berries I found. We, we need you to be nice and healthy and fat. <laughs> wait, wait... <laughs> You found berries, you found edible yeah. food to pet him up, but you can't survive without eating his legs. <laughs> He's given all the food to the guy to eat. <laughs> I, I, I like I like Andrew's idea too, it's just this is yeah. this is this will heal your wounds. It's yeah. healing self, but it's just turkey based. Yeah, I found some I found some Vaseline in the uh, in the first aid kit. It's just fucking mesquite barbecue sauce. <laughs> You're just rubbing it in. Just some Louisiana sauce and Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Oh yeah, this already smells like it's healing, Jim. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, 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 can, I'm always, I can I can taste when the infection's gone. Just mm, mm. Oh, no, you gotta you need a you need a little bit more. A little bit more neosporin. I can taste I'm enjoying this so much. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. That would enjoy be so it that funny. Much. That would be a great movie. Again. God, we, we come up with so many good ideas. Nibbling we on his really leg. Start a Film production company. We should. I mean, the yeah, funny thing is, they did this step. in the Hannibal TV show, where Hannibal feeds a guy his own leg because he was paralyzed and had, didn't have use of it. So he spends like months feeding the guy delicious foods and snails and such, so he can at the end have a delicious leg to eat. That was fucked up, but we're such geniuses, we were able to turn it into a comedy. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, you listening, Warner Brothers? Visionaries. Mm -hmm. Are you listening, listening big studios? Netflix? And it will not be whitewashed, Netflix. I will play the guy eating the leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play the leg. <laughs> what, the entirety of you? Yeah. I'll just, I'll just sit there still on camera, painted up like a leg. It'll be fine. <laughs> We don't need props. What a huge, what a huge salary save that would be. Now we have two actors for the price of one. <laughs> you don't need a prop department either. I'll just do yeah. it. <laughs> you need a chair. We'll all you need a chair. I'll just get on the floor and you sit on me. It's fine. It's a, it sounds like drama class. It really does. Uh. <laughs> That'd be an interesting take for like an indie movie, a movie where like all the objects in the world are just actors. Pretending to be objects. You oh, maybe no, do that something sounds like that. contemporary art. Yeah, I'm not too sure Ooh. I'd be on board with that either. Okay, well, don't do it then. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not one of the good ideas, <laughs> Warner Bros. Don't worry. Cross it out. <laughs> Warner Brothers, stop listening. Human furniture is a no. And now you watch. Next year, you're going to have a fucking DreamWorks trailer for human furniture. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's it's going yeah. to happen. They're going to steal my my idea. Tom Hardy plays Ed Gein, 
digging up his mom and making furniture out of her vagina. <laughs> That's not mm. a lot of furniture you can get out of that. That's like a yeah. There's not a whole lot of mileage there. <laughs> it's maybe it's uh, maybe a single beer coaster at best. Oh, maybe I don't know what Ed Gein did. He, didn't he make like belt buckles and lampshades out of his mom? Not of just her vagina, though. You need a lot more human leather than that. Maybe I don't know. We'd have to resurrect and ask him. We'll, we'll turn him into a coffee table and then ask him. Well, at that point, boys, if you want to start to wrap it up. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this week's episode of the official podcast. Appreciate you sticking around with us for this hour. Uh, you can head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast if you want to help support us. We have a lot of bonus episodes over there, a lot of bonus content. So head on over there and check it out if you haven't already. Thanks to all the Patreons that have. The, the patrons that have, I mean. Uh, yeah, mm. we'll see you next week. Bye, Thank everyone. You. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.